Two roads, a few houses. This is Sutherland in the Karua Semi Desert, a five hour drive from Cape Town. Guest houses here are named after planets or galaxies. And mock up telescopes signal to any visitor that this is the place to be in South Africa for stargazers. Up on the hill is the most important astronomical observatory on the African continent, the telescope facility of the country's National Research Foundation. Here, nature and high tech live in peaceful coexistence. The springboks are mainly drawn to the compound by the grass that grows all around it. Astronomers come for the hardware, to be specific, for the South African Large Telescope, or SALT. It's the largest single telescope in the Southern Hemisphere. Financed by several different countries, including Germany, this Eye on the Sky was completed in 2005. Made up of 91 hexagonal segments, its enormous mirror is 11 meters wide and 10 long. The segments have to be aligned correctly to one millionth of a millimeter to bring images clearly into focus. Two things you can do with a really large telescope is you can look at very faint things or you can look at brighter things but on very short time scales. And so it's interesting to study things that vary on time scales of, of minutes and seconds. And we can actually do that with all of our instruments have that capability to do high speed work. Researchers here can observe how compact star remnants absorb gas from companion stars, for instance, until they have so much mass that they explode as supernovas. Or watch as black holes suck in endless amounts of stellar dust. The astronomers want to investigate the universe more thoroughly. This spectrograph from the United States will soon get an arm with new measuring devices. They will allow it to collect data about thermal radiation from space. And it can observe regions hidden behind dust clouds. The instruments have to be mounted on this black beam. It's a complex device that follows the movements of the sky. The new instruments will allow the astronomers to look deeper into the universe in even more detail, and they'll be able to see the tiny movements of stars. That's the first step towards detecting small rocky planets that orbit faraway suns. And they're of particular interest, because they could be home to alien life. David Gilbank's team of researchers use SALT to investigate how galaxies develop. That's a central question in modern astronomy. They're observing what are known as mergers, galaxies that look as if they're fusing together. The spectrographs break up the light of these celestial objects into the colors that make up its spectrum. What we do with the spectra is we measure how fast they're moving, which tells us what distance they're moving at. And then that tells us if the relative velocity between them, if there's a small difference in speed between them, then that means that they're likely to, to merge together. And if there's a large distance between them, then they're not going to merge together. So we know that they're not true mergers. And spectroscopy is the only way to tell this. The images recorded by SALT and other big telescopes, both on the ground and in space, are being compiled into the Astronomical Virtual Observatory. It's a huge library that researchers all over the world can use, gleaning new knowledge from the trove of data to uncover the mysteries of the universe. <laughs>